Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this video we're going to show you how to get started using Home Manage Home Inventory software. So after you've installed the pro after you after you've installed a demo, you'll see a screen uh, similar to this the first time you run the program. Just right here you just have a demo record uh, for Her Herman Miller chair and, and unless you actually have that item, you can go ahead and just delete that. So I'll delete that by right mouse clicking and selecting delete. Um, okay, so we've got uh, my residence here which is the default location so let's say we're going to inventory uh, right now I'm in my basement home office so what I can do is create a new room and to do that I just right mouse click on my residence select new room we'll call this basement office hit OK you see here it creates a new room under my residence so now we're going to start inventorying a couple items I have down here um, now to, as this is currently selected, once I select the add item dialog, it's going to automatically have the basement office selected. So let's start out with a cell phone. I have a Blackberry. Cell phone, we'll name the category. Um, under here you'll get all sorts of categories. And I think we have one for cell phones. Yes, we do. So we'll select cell phones. I have one of them. Now here is all a bunch of a bunch of optional information. Let's say I bought this uh, today at Best Buy, and the cost was twenty-nine dollars. Manufacturer. Now, um, when you start out, you're just going to have the one manufacturer, and to a add new manufacturers, all you need to do is click in the uh, manufacturer edit box and start typing in the name. So click in, click there, and type in BlackBerry. Curve 9330. So uh, we have additional information we could fill out if we want to. Warranty expiration. Let's say there's a warranty that expires June 28, 2016. Um, other information, insurance information, whatnot. So, okay, now for a picture. Now later on I'll show you the webcam feature, which is a nice new feature in version 2015. But for right now, let's say we have a image of the item. Oops, sorry. Click on load image here. And right here we have the image of the BlackBerry curve. So we're going to hit OK. And the item has been entered. Now down here you'll see uh, links. And what happens when you click on a link is it goes to for example, if I click on Best Buy, it's going to open the View menu here, and it's going to click on, it's going to uh, show all items with the dealer Best Buy. Now, the View has all sorts of different uh, sections. So the warranty expired. Remember, we uh, we added a warranty expiration date, so it's going to show all the warranties ex expiration month by, by month and year for all items you enter. So if I click on that, it shows the same item. Now. We have some reporting as well in the program. Um, here, right here, you have not all these reports operate on all items you enter. So, right here, we have a simple list of items report. And once you click on that, you're going to prevent it be presented with the print options dialog. And there's many, many different output formats. Now, you can uh, select printer, which is going to uh, send the report directly to your printer. Preview, which allows you to view the report before you print it. And Adobe PDF, which is going to create an Adobe PDF file with your information. And then we got uh, Excel, Word, you name it. So we'll just select Preview for now. So we're going to select Preview, Start, and it shows just the one item we have right now. Now another new feature we have is the Webcam Inventory feature. We're really happy with this. Um, it's new for the 2015 edition, and if you have a Microsoft Surface by any chance, Surface 3 or Surface Pro, um, it, it's going to be a really nice feature because the Surface is a tablet with a forward-leaning camera, forward-facing camera, I should say, and uh, it's going to enable you to just walk around with the tablet and inventory your house very easily. Uh, but for most of you, like uh, you probably still have a desktop or a laptop, and uh, so I'm just going to show how to use the webcam feature with a desktop to start. So 
What you do is you're just going to click on the webcam button here. You can also select actions, add items using webcam. So I'll click on that. And what it does is it opens up the webcam live feed. And so I'm going to inventory a Toshiba laptop I have. Uh, so we've got the webcam here and we can move it around. So we're basically going to position it so that it shows the item properly. be okay for now. So anyway, uh, once the we have an image, uh, uh, once the webcam looks like it's uh, positioned properly, you're just going to click on Take Snapshot. And what you do then is you're going to enter the information for that image. So we click, type in Toshiba Laptop Asset, Asset Number. No, no. It's a, uh, it's a laptop location, my residence, basement office, you can enter the serial number, status, etc, etc. So type in the condition is uh, well used, we'll say that. And once you've done that we can uh, select quick add and what that's going to do as you'll see soon is it adds the item and then brings back the web, brings the webcam back up again. So to see the added item, we'll click on location, and you can see here, here's the laptop we just added. So, and uh, while I'm here, I might as well show you the category section, which is the second of the three tabs. And we go down here to laptop. You just click on the laptop, and you'll see all the items with the category laptop. So um, that's the introduction to Home Manage. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye-bye.